all, I am here to do my TBR for the Mirakami Marathon, which is the readathon that I am co-hosting alongside Kate and Haley here on YouTube. The more information was in my last video, my announcement video for it. Watch that if you haven't and you're curious. But um, basically, there are five reading challenges, and this is my TBR. These are the books I plan on reading. It is a two-week readathon from June 9th to June 22nd. Now, to most people, that's like a long time, and, and then you see my TBR, you're like, that sounds very manageable. But a bitch hasn't been reading, like, at all this year. I honestly can't tell you the last time I finished a book. Was it this month? Who knows? I just haven't been reading, but um, I'm really intrigued to read more Mirakami, so, like, hopefully this motivate me to actually read, because I am co-hosting this. So, um, let's just get into it, I guess. The first book on my TBR is the buddy read, and that is After Dark. Actually, funny story about this. So, um, after I made my announcement video, and I was like, okay, gotta curate my TBR, I went back to Kate's video, where she, um, talked about all of Mirakami books, and I was like, what's the one that takes place all in one day? Because that's the one that sounded the most interesting to me. That's the one I wanted to read the most out of all of his novels. So I'm watching, and then I'm like, oh, who would have guessed it was the buddy read all along? Um, I don't know shit about Mirakami, as you can tell. This one just takes place all in one day, and it's in the Denny's, which is honestly perfect for me. That's all I care about. Some of my faves. Next challenge is to read a new to you Mirakami, and that's basically all of his books. But I'm going to go with Kafka on the Shore. This, do I know anything about this? No. What I do know about this, this is one of the ones like with Norwegian Wood, where all like the basic white girls will carry it around and read it. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so fucking smart and literate and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, cool. It's the one I chose. I think there's a queer gay side character, and I just wanted some gayness because um, this readathon taking place in June, Pride Month, and I don't want to just read straight books. The next challenge is to read one of his fantastical books, and for that, I'm going with. Wind up Bird Chronicle. Now this is a thick boy. I don't know if that's a small font. I don't know. Is this the smartest decision for a readathon? Who knows? Especially when I'm not reading like at all. But um, this is Kate's favorite Miracom, and I was like, this is the one. I'm like, I'm like, I want to read it just because it's Kate's favorite, and I know it's fucking weird. So I'm like, Th that's what I want. I should do this because it's Kate's readathon. Kate's fave, duh. Next is to read one of his contemporary books, and for that I'm going with his nonfiction, his memoir, and that's what, what I talk about when I talk about running. This is his book beside After Dark, or whatever, that has intrigued me the most. It's like, I wanted to pick this up before I wanted to even pick up any of his actual fiction, because I have a very special relationship with running. I love running, so the only that I actually do, will do, love to do. And, like, it started out just like, oh, I'm gonna help my mom, like, lose weight. She wanted to get really healthy back when I was, like, a freshman in high school. And, like, I used to help her. I used to work out with her all the time. And I just hated it. I was like, this is so dumb. This is so boring. But, like, running, I, I literally can run. Like, put me on a track. I'll run for two hours. Put me on a treadmill. I'll run to the treadmill. It makes me stop. Like, I love running. But a lot of that was because it helped a lot with my anxiety. It was like one of the healthier coping mechanisms I have found and actually have stuck with. Like, I can just start running. Like, if I even if I don't run or exercise or do anything for like a year, I can just like get back in the rain and it's like the same pace and like everything's cool. So I have a very specific relationship with running. And I, I think I heard that this is literally just him talking about running and like shit like that. And I just, I'm very curious to see what his relationship with running is, his thoughts about it with it, and how that might inspire his writing. I don't really know. I'm just very intrigued to hear such a, like, influential man in literature, just his thoughts on running. The last challenge is to play me on comedy, Bingo, which you, I'm choosing to do with all of these books. I don't think you need a specific book for that. You can, like, try to get it with the books you're already reading, which is what I'm going to do. But if I somehow somehow managed to finish these. I actually would love to reread A Wild Cheap Chase, which is his first ever one that I did read, because I feel like knowing more about him and his story and reading his other works, I would probably be able to appreciate this more. I don't think I appreciated it that much at the time because it just wasn't what I was expecting, but now that I know what to expect, I think I would actually enjoy it a lot more. I also might not want to reread that, and I was stuck between ordering one other book and I didn't know which so like you can help me out with that people who are watching this I d I couldn't decide between Colorless Sahiru or South of the Border West of the Sun I couldn't decide between either of those two but like if I end up finishing these four 
and I'm like, I don't really want to read a lot of TVs again. I might order one of those, so help me out there. <laughs> anyway, that is my TBR. Am I gonna complete it? Who knows, but I will try my best. If you are also participating in this and you make a TBR video, link it down below. Please share it with me. I would love to watch it. I would love to share it with the other hosts. Readathon's happening June 9th to June 22nd. Please get your books ready, and uh, I will see you in another video sometime.